When I talk to leaders about great days at work, I often get the reaction, oh, nice idea, but my job is to get results. And I don't disagree with that. The challenge is there are a limited number of levers that you can pull as a leader to get the results you need. And you need to hire really good people, and you need to tell them what to do, and you can use financial rewards and incentives to get more from them. But the challenge there is when things get tough in the economy, it's not always that easy to provide um, rewards. Some leaders actually take a more um, command and control approach and say, you know, we've hired these folks, their job is to get results, and they create more of a, a burn, a churn and burn environment. And that can actually work pretty well for a short time, but it doesn't sustain um, high performance over the long term. And so the key is, how are you going to consistently get the discretionary effort of your best people, of the folks that you're investing in? And that's where Great Days at Work comes into play. And Great Days at Work are all about the work. It's not about a transactional, if you do this, we give you that. And we've been doing an exercise around Great Days at Work for over 10 years. And we do it in training sessions, um, our research, in um, the interviews that we did for our most recent book. We do a very similar exercise. And I wanted to describe it here to give you a sense of, of what we're talking about and why it's important. And we ask people, think about a great day at work, a specific great day, and think about where were you, what were you doing, who were you with, who benefited from your work, what challenges did you face. Really put yourself in the situation and remember that day. Then we want you to tell us your story and use five descriptors, either phrases or words, to tell us about the story and about your day. And I assure you, we never, ever hear someone say, my great day was my boss was out of town, I got to surf the internet all day, and no customers called me. That is not what a great day is. Instead, we hear these really rich stories about people using their talents and what they do best every day, about challenges that they overcame, often as part of a larger team, about achievement. Um, one of the most striking examples I've ever heard of um, for Great Days was um, not long after 9-11, in New York City when we interviewed people at a hospital and they talked about great days and it was actually those days that were the most difficult where they were using their talents and they were working incredibly hard that were great days for them as individuals. So we hear meaningful work, challenge, um, achievement, recognition, uh, happy customers, good teamwork, all of this adds up to great days being great results. You know, it's always a win for an organization when your employees can be doing work that they enjoy and that you're paying them to do to achieve extraordinary things.